obviously everybody had sex, so they had a shirt and everything off, so everybody's uh, sated and ready to get on with the events of the evening. Uh, first, I wanted to uh, say, uh, as we were recognizing all the folks uh, when we began, I, I neglected to mention that uh, the folks from Liberty are standing by with the ambulance and stuff tonight, so I'd like to give them a hand and say thank you very much. Secondarily, uh, I went into the kitchen and talked to the folks there who had a wonderful meal for us, uh, hotties from the grill, but uh, they refused to come out, so I wondered if we could give them a, a ovation and uh, so they could hear us. We also wanted to recognize the life members uh, of uh, the departments uh, that are here as well. Uh, when I'll uh, read their names off if they're here, if you wouldn't mind raising your hand to, so that we can recognize you, and then we can uh, recognize them as a group at the end. Tony Lepkowski, Bill Kraus, Dean Hall, Kevin Linquist, Ken Percy Johnson, Steve Hall, Jolene Hall, Carl Wickman, Richard Naylor, Myra Kreger, Terry Kreger, Bill Clodfelter, and Richard Williams. It's 20 years or more of service for each one of those folks to be a life member. <laughs> Next, uh, Steve Hall has a presentation for the Community Service Award. Steve. About three years ago, we decided as a department that it takes more than just us, and we decided to start a community volunteer award, a community service award. The past recipients of that award have been Annette and Dave Thompson for Mama's Restaurant, and last year we recognized our community for the support that we had in our Jaws of Life Fund uh, fundraising effort where we successfully raised over $40,000 in about six months. Uh, this is an award that does not go to a member of our organization. It goes to somebody who we feel supports not only our organization, but also supports the community as well. This year's recipient of the award uh, has been around the uh, fire and ambulance service uh, for many years, uh, longer than I've been a member, and I've been a member for almost 40 years. Uh, actually, I, I believe at one time in, in their career, they actually were a member of the Ambulance Association uh, back in the uh, early years where we first got started when we ran the Cadillac ambulances. Actually, it was before that because they told me the ambulance they ran on was actually a Chevy. Uh, and back when, when I was a junior member. Uh, things weren't like they are now. Uh, they really, the state didn't really have a lot of requirements on us. So there were several times that while we were in high school, Kevin Link was and myself would, the uh, call would go out and we'd go over to the fire hall. And uh, Hugh Cunningham, who used to do the dispatching for us, would say, You guys take the truck. I don't think it's anything. Uh, but we'll send them, we'll send some guys up when they come. But many of those times when we would get on the scene, the next ones that would show up would either be George Lloyd and the borough crew, or it would be the gas company and their crew, or it could be the electric company. Definitely not like it is today where the gas company comes in, pulls the meter, and they leave, or the electric company comes in and pulls the meter, and they leave. Uh, they actually helped us. Uh, Got the hoses off the truck. Some of them even actually, we turned it on and said, point it towards the thing that's burning and hopefully it goes out. But since we built this building here, 
this individual has been uh, has documented the history of our building, how we build it uh, through pictures, and uh, documents our banquet very well. Uh, some of the pictures we have are in inside the lounge, but he also supports the community in the annual coal festival. He's an active member of the VFW. Uh, he's a big supporter of the Oktoberfest as well. He's been a supporter with us, not only with manpower, but his support, his documenting of the building of the building financially. And uh, years ago, many years ago, we used to call him gloves. We always wondered if his hands really ever got dirty. <laughs> right, Keith? Ooh. This year's winner of the Community Service Award is presented to Keith Lane. Come on up, Keith. The award says 2013 Community Volunteer of the Year Award presented to Keith Lindy for your dedicated support to the community and to our organization. Keith, turn right around. You gotta get your picture taken. <laughs> Keith, you know you made us awful nervous when you weren't showing up. So on behalf of the departments, Keith, congratulations, well deserved. Thank you, Keith. Here. You know, you, you used to have an old, uh, it wasn't even an ambulance, but it was a GMC station wagon, you know, running that old station wagon. <clears throat> it hauled the nurses back and forth going to the hospital, and then it wasn't busy going out to a wreck someplace. You got a guy, an old World War I guy, <coughs> had one eye, Cy Nelson, you remember him? Yep. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> I just remember the name. We went through this together and I did the lodge. Yeah. And once in a while, our, our gas company, the fire was a bull, we used to always help out the gas company, and our manager, Zeke Isaac, and I don't know whether he's here or not. Oh, he's another life member that I forgot. Yeah. Well, Zeke, Zeke Isaac is a life member. He was on call. Why I usually went with him. The last guy we picked up up on Boss Mountain was before the night, and he was. Uh, Collister was his name, I think. Frank Collister? Yep. Yeah. No, yeah. I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> then you've been down Danville hunting, and something happened when you come coming home and you roll over by that one-way fence over there where everybody rolls over coming down, pick up what burnt, or rolled over and burned up when Zeke and I got there. Zeke, I wasn't on call, but Zeke was, and I usually went with him when he was on call. But uh, that was last time I was on there. <coughs> also, Walt Custer, Long the fire company, I took, and I used to go with them. And while I was on call this weekend, I I usually go with them and help them out. It's good. Appreciate this, folks, so much. Fire company has been good to me, and uh, so has the community. Here, Keith, on the back. <laughs>